breakout star from last year. Clint Boyer coming off a runner-up finish in 2012 and three wins in his first season with MWR. Stevie certainly exceeded expectations, helping MWR make the chase for the first time in the organization's history. But Danielle, the target's on his back now with critics wondering if he can back up that success. Clint spoke about his expectations recently at the media tour. He's going to have enough fuel to make it. Checkered flag and the win to Clint Boyer. Michael Walter Racing gets two cars in the chase. We all exceeded expectation. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't an, anybody, I, in, in any shape or form of, of anything that happened last year. But, uh, you know, I guess the way I, I look at things is that's last year. Michael Walter was so intent, so focused on getting that team going. What probably excites me the most uh, about getting started this year is I feel like we still have room to improve all across the board at MWR, not just our, you know, 5 iron Energy Toyota in particular, but all of us. We just continue to improve throughout the season, and I feel like we can do, you know, that again this year. I was excited about our test that we had at Charlotte. I thought, uh, you know, very, very enthused on what I saw there with the speed in our cars. I mean, I was at the top of the board right off the truck, and I hadn't even been in one, and I was like, We'll be just fine. Put it back in the truck. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm ready to go racing. He knew he was in a battle for the third spot. All of a sudden, the door's open for him to finish second in the points. Everybody keeps warning me about this, you know, second place hangover. And I just told somebody out there a little bit ago, I've had a lot of hangovers. Uh, you can fight through them. I'm ready for it. I mentioned Clint, uh, breakout star of 2012. A lot of that due to his big personality, which he shares with us on Twitter. Managed to have some fun at, su at the Super Bowl in New Orleans this past weekend, and he let us come along. What's he doing here? Deuces with Ice Cube. With Ice Cube. Peace. Clint ran into this guy early Saturday morning in the Big Easy. Yeah, we saw Ice Cube. <laughs> Does the deuces, do they mean he's a Keselowski fan? So he parties with Ice Cube and P. Diddy. I'm telling you. We're on the wrong side of this, Cameron. I'm already <laughs> overstimulated by that picture. That street is crazy packed. But Clint can't fool us. We know you didn't have any trouble finding any action. And speaking of bad Brad, here's our champ walking into the big game with Clint, apparently looking rather lawyerly, scholarly perhaps. But that outfit looks familiar. It appears to be the same outfit he wore when he was here in November. Oh, no, you did He did. Well, it's been quite the off-season for Clint Boyer, Larry Mack. Uh, on the yacht with P. Diddy for New Year's Eve, uh, hanging out with Ice Cube at the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't stop there. Monica Palumbo says he's still a busy guy. <laughs> Clint's heading up to Kentucky to the Toyota plant tomorrow. Thursday, he's got a photo shoot. Friday, three shoots. The biggest one being the Peak Motor Oil commercial. And if you're heading out to the NASCAR preview on Saturday, Clint will be there signing autographs. But he's not done. Sunday, he's heading up to Virginia to meet with USA Today to talk about the Gen 6 car leading in to the Daytona 500. So keep up with all of his activities on Twitter, at Clint Boyer. Thanks so much, Monica. Double deuces to you. Peace out. I don't even know what that means, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do know what it means, though, in terms of success for Michael Waltrip Racing. Uh, what a big year. We've been talking about it a lot on tonight's show. Uh, do, you, do you feel that there's any, is there any reason to believe that they can't back this up? Because to me, when I see things online like they just hire a new director of engineering, they're not settling on last year's success. They want to keep getting...